The Heat, who have cooled off in the second round from three, only shot 30% from deep. We're out rebounded 30, 34 to 50 in this game. The series heads back to Miami 3 2, and the Heat have another chance to close this out. So, Jay, it's your begrudging acceptance. Will Jimmy Butler end this on Friday, or did the Knicks give you hope? Jimmy's going to end it. Jimmy's going to end it. These, these dudes needed 48 minutes from Jalen Brunson in game five. Mm-hmm. In game five. <laughs> 48 of them. And like in every minute counted because they didn't really pull away until that last minute. Like Miami still had a chance. I was yeah, so much, so much of this series comes to down to me. Can Julius Randle just be solid? Because he has a size advantage. He has a physicality advantage. Mm-hmm. And sometimes he just uses it in all the wrong ways. And sometimes he's, he plays too slow and he shoots when he should pass. Mm -hmm. the two plays that were the most important to me are like the the plays that he needs to continue doing the most the drives to the paint there were two in the second half of of game five drives to the paint sprays it to the corner both of them ended up with Jalen Brunson swing pass to Jalen Brunson for three and that's what Julius Randle can do I just don't trust him to do it I don't think I don't think this Knicks team has the collective IQ to beat an Eric Spolster defense. It's going to be Miami. I, I finally bowed down to Eric Spolster. Yeah, just like Jimmy to remember, give me that, I need that. I need that personal clip right there. Uh, Will, <laughs> do you think the Knicks have a chance? Because I've I've been saying this whole series, if they just, well, I didn't say play Jalen Brunson, you know, forty eight minutes, but I just thought if and they Quentin make Grimes. if they make Jalen Brunson the absolute focus and everything goes through him, they have a shot to make it competitive and and win a you know win a game or two. But they haven't done that until game five. Listen, man, heat culture. That's all I'm gonna say. Heat culture. Mm-hmm. There's no denying it. Mm-hmm. The, the weather's gonna be hot in Miami. Mm-hmm. You know oh, that the Knicks are gonna like that. <laughs> uh, you can't hit a jumper when it's hot outside. Uh, but no, nah, I mean, we saw the Jalen Brunson masterpiece, 48 minutes, 38 points. I think that you could say that was his best playoff game, best game period of his career. Probably. I know he had 40 on that Utah team last year, but they were sorry uh, by the end. So I think we're going to call this the best game of Jalen Brunson's career. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I really part of me wants to see the Knicks win because I just want to see how far tips can keep this going at playing Jalen Brunson. 48 minutes every single game. Like, I want them to go to game seven of the finals with Jalen Brunson playing 48 minutes every single game. Uh, that would be incredible. Yeah. Uh, but I just think, man, that the Heat, they're undefeated at home in this playoffs. You know, J- Jimmy Butler, like, took, like, 12 shots that game five. So, you know, he's kind of saving his energy for when they get back to Miami. And I feel like once he kind of puts his foot on the gas pedal, I think it, it'll be too much for the Knicks. Uh, the, the Heat has just got – too much, too many weapons over there. Bam Adebayo uh, has been dominant when he really, you know, turns his game up against those Miami bigs. And, you know, I hate to say it, but I feel like the Knicks' chances kind of ride on Julius Randle waking up. And if that's what I'm hoping, if I'm a Knicks fan, then, you know, I'm I'm looking at Tankathon trying to see what those, those draft picks are going to be because I don't oh, feel no. like Julius Randle is going to get him there. So, uh, yeah, I feel like heat culture – uh, get it going. I'm gonna go ahead and send my 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 travel to to, to my guy Sergio and see if I'm gonna be back. Serge in get it approved. Yeah, for games three and four. Put him through. Approve my trip, Sergio. Yep. I'm back in the building eating empanadas again. Yep. And get the closeout game in Philly when they win five. Uh, Jay, if it does get to a game <laughs> seven, if it does get to a game seven, do the Knicks have a chance? Which is a disrespectful question because they'll be. They'll be at home, but yeah, what one game situation they would absolutely have a chance. How good of a chance? It wouldn't be good. <laughs> it it would wouldn't be as good as most teams at home in game seven. Tell you that much. Tell you that much. Oh, I know man. I I am I'm done disrespecting the Heat. I'm done. You know, just what he's looking trying to do at their here, roster. Will. He's trying to get them to lose uh, by accepting the them. That's jinx, yeah, that's the reverse I, jinx he tried I to am, do with Sacramento. Like he's. Yeah, I am he, done. <laughs> I am done looking at the Heat roster no, and just I, I've, drugging I've my shoulders and thinking, before. how could they possibly do this again? 
I'm done. It's you got, over. You got to start I have, listening to me. I have fully accepted that if a series is moderately close. Put them in the finals, you coward. Then Eric Spolstra <laughs> will win it. If it is wildly lopsided, he might still win it. And... And you that's just he won't, how, he that's won't just give credit to Jimmy go. Butler. He won't give credit to oh, Jimmy no. Butler. Oh no, I've, I've given I've given all sorts of credit to Jimmy Butler. I, uh, I have bowed down to Jimmy Butler. Just Jimmy not Gabe Butler Vincent. has continuously been awesome. Mm-hmm. Put but, Jimmy and Spo against the '96 Bulls. I got heat in six. I got heat in four. <laughs> just Jimmy with Spo coaching him. It's over. I'm telling, I'm telling you, he would outcoach the pants truth. off of Phil Jackson. 